Before going to know about frequency distribution tables, let us know why it is used. Let us consider a situation. One day, Ramesh measured the length of leaves of the oak tree to the nearest centimeters. He got the length as shown below. In this case, the obtained observations are too many. So, here presenting the data in ascending order is too time consuming. So, we use an alternate method. Let us discuss it further. Now, let us know about frequency distribution tables. The frequency is the number of times a particular data point occurs in the set of data. The frequency distribution is a table that lists each data point and its frequency. The frequency distribution is categorized for ungrouped and grouped data. Click each tab to know more. Let us construct the frequency distribution table for ungrouped data. The following numbers shows the lengths of leaves measured by Ramesh in centimeters. Here, the number of observations are ungrouped. To make the given data organized, let us draw a tabular form with columns, lengths of leaves, tally marks and number of leaves. So, here let us start with lengths of leaves with lowest length. 1 cm leaves are 4. So, here let us put 4 tally marks indicating 4 leaves with lengths 1 cm. Now, let us consider the lengths of leaves which are 2 cm, they are 5. So, the tally marks are marked as shown. Thus, the number of leaves are 5. Similarly, the remaining number of measured lengths of leaves of the oak tree are as shown in the table. So, the tally marks are useful in tabulating the raw data. As the actual observations of the data are shown in the table with their frequencies, this table is known as ungrouped frequency distribution. Now, let us construct the frequency distribution table for grouped data. Now, to represent the data in categories, we make groups as per the requirement and these groups are called as class intervals. Let us consider the lengths of leaves between 1 cm to 3 cm. We observe that there are 13 leaves. So, the tally marks are drawn as shown. Similarly, the lengths of leaves between 4 to 7 or 7 and number of leaves between 8 to 10 cm or 10. So, presenting the data in this way to observe certain important features at a glance is known as grouped frequency distribution table. Make a note that to classify the data according to the requirement or if there are large number of observations, then we make groups to condense it.